Welcome to today's ZDRX. The prescription is check your choices. Anchoring scripture is Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. Today we want to look at Jesus and his disciples praying versus playing. This world is a war and full of evil from our enemy, number one enemy, the devil. So prayer is a weapon against evil, against the devil. Anyone who is not praying is playing, and it's a matter of choice. And many people in 21st century don't pray, but play. <laughs> we play on social media. You know, we play, we love Netflix, and, and, the, and, and the list continues. In Luke 18, 1, Jesus said, Then he spoke a parable to them, that men always ought to pray and not to lose heart. In 1 Thessalonians 5.17, Paul also said, Pray without ceasing. In Mark 1.35, Jesus demonstrated it. Now in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place. And there he prayed. In Matthew 26.36-45, you know, yeah, there's a narrative here. Yeah? Jesus showed three of his disciples the importance of prayer. He took Peter, James, and John you know, to the garden of Gethsemane, just before he was crucified. While Jesus was praying, the disciples were sleeping. Jesus woke them up. It happened three times, and he advised them in verse 40 to 41. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, What? Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. I want to conclude with Leonard Ravin Hill, who wrote, When Revival Tarries. This is what he said about prayer. No man is greater than his prayer life. The pastor who is not praying is playing. The people who are not praying are straying. A sinning man will stop praying, and a praying man will stop sinning. Prayer is to the believer, what capital is to the businessman. You can start praying today.